Hey everybody, welcome to A Happy Moment. This week I just wanted to talk about some big news coming out of the heavy metal world. In the summer of 2023, Pantera will be going on tour. Wow, I never expected that. For those of you listening who are not metalheads and aren't familiar with the situation, drummer Vinnie Paul passed away a few years ago, and quite a while back, at least 15 years now I think, his brother Dimebag Daryl, the guitarist, was murdered on stage playing for the band Damage Plan. That was a very shocking and tragic event. And so now all these years later, I never expected to hear that Pantera would be doing a tour. So the lineup is going to be Phil Anselmo on vocals, Rex Brown on bass, and then filling in for Vinny and Dime is going to be Charlie Benanti on drums and Zach Wilde on guitar. Charlie is the drummer for Anthrax, a legendary metal band in their own right. And Zach Wilde is the longtime guitarist for Ozzy Osbourne, and also has his own very successful band, Black Label Society. I think these guys are more than capable of filling in. It's just going to be weird having Pantera without Vinny and Dime. I think Zach especially is going to be a good choice, though. If I didn't already know this, and you asked me to guess who's going to be filling in on guitar, Zach would probably be the first person that comes to mind. Nobody can replace Dimebag, but I think Zach will do justice to the role. I am interested to hear how it all sounds, especially vocals. Back in his prime, Phil was one of the best metal vocalists there was, and it will be interesting to hear how he sounds. It's been over 20 years since Pantera split up. I know he's been doing work for other bands, but I haven't listened to any of those. The one thing that worries me a little bit is that Pantera has always had the attitude of they don't care what anybody thinks of them. And Phil, I think, was always a little bit outspoken. So if he's up there on stage during one of their shows and says the wrong thing, It's possible there could be a lot of backlash from that. Regardless of what it is, any kind of social commentary is instantly going to get half of the country to hate you. Not that he would care. It's just that I wouldn't want to see something like that take away from the reunion, which I think could be a really cool way of honoring Vinny and Dime. As for whether or not I would go to any of the shows, I don't know. I guess it all depends on where they're going and how much tickets cost. Plus, on one hand, while it would be really awesome to hear Pantera live, that's one of the few bands that... I never saw live and I wish I had, so it would be cool to see that in concert. On the other hand, it might just be best if I keep the memories I do have of them the way they were. I've been listening to Pantera since high school, and they're definitely one of my favorite bands of all time. You take an album like Vulgar Display of Power, it's hard to top that, it doesn't really get much better than that in the metal world. But like I said, I might just keep the memories I have and not do anything that might tarnish that. Regardless of whether or not I do go to one of the shows, I am excited for it. And I know a lot of other people are as well, so I think the shows will definitely sell out and do really well. I'd imagine they'll be playing at some larger venues, but regardless of that, I think it'll do well no matter where they play. How about you? What do you think? Are you excited at the news of a Pantera reunion? Stop by my Twitter page, at a happy moment pod, and let me know how you feel. That's all I have for this week. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.